Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Liam Douglas with Liam Photography and in today's video I'm doing an unboxing review of the PANS Smart Filter System for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now this system was sent to me by the good folks at Anderson. If you remember I did the uh, vlogging review of the vlogging kit of theirs recently. And today we have this uh, filter system that we're going to use with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So let's start out here. We have the actual magnetic mount assembly. And so let's pull this out first. All right. Then we got this little card that comes with it. Gives you some hip temps and hits on the back hits hints on the back of it. And then we have the actual mount. Now this is what the mount is. It's made out of a good solid metal. I believe it's aluminum or something like that. And it's got a magnetic ring for the mag safe on the back of your phone. So let me just go ahead and pop my iPhone out of its standard case. I don't know if I can get it off. As you can guess, it's super cold here today, hence the jacket and the winter hat. And my fingers are getting numb, so that's always fun. <laughs> uh, we got a nasty winter storm that moved across from the Midwest, and most of it hit the Northeast, but a decent share of the cold weather hit North Carolina and Georgia. So, now that I've got this opened up, I got my case off my phone, we take this smart filter mount, and we attach it to the back of the phone. And it locks on using the MagSafe, so it's not going to fall off. It's nice and solid on there. And then what you do is you actually slide the filters down into this tray assembly here, and it has a little latch release on the bottom. And the kit comes with a wide assortment of filters. So let me pull these out and show them to you here. Uh, first we have is a black mist filter, which you can use for portraits. And I'm not going to pull each filter out of the box yet. I'll do that later. Um, and then we have a screen star filter, again, for portraits. It can give you some cool effects, especially with lights in the background, bokeh. Uh, and then we have a blue streak horizontal filter. And we have a blue streak vertical filter. And then we have a gold streak horizontal filter. And these all create different effects with light. Uh, for your portraits and then we have a gold streak vertical filter and then last but not least in the box we have some ND filters we have a two-stop ND filter we have a four-stop ND filter we have a six-stop ND filter and we have an eight-stop ND filter. Now, of course, as you're already aware, neutral density filters or ND filters are what we use in the photography world when we want to capture long exposures during the daytime. A long exposure at night is really easy to do because you don't have to worry about excess ambient light blowing out your shot. But in order to get long exposure shots during the daytime, you've got to use a neutral density filter unless you have um, some sort of camera that has a digital ND filter, which some of the newer models do, but not very many. And to be honest, I'm not sure how they work. Now, I did recently do a review on the Arsenal 2, and it does daytime long exposures using a special function um, in the software, and it does work fairly well. Not quite as well as an actual set of ND filters, but it does a halfway decent job. Now, in the box, we also have this, which is a case for the entire kit. So if we take this out of the box, pull it out of the little plastic baggie here, and I'll hold it down so the wind doesn't get away. It's got a carabiner attached to the outside of it. And then you unzip this. Oh, let me get the zipper here. I'm sorry, my fingers are extremely numb. And we have a spot here for the mount, the MagSafe mount right here in this pocket. And then your various filters can be slid into these sleeves inside the bag. And it will hold the entire complement of sleeves. I'll hold it a little bit closer so you can see better. And then you have everything in a nice little case that zips shut and you can clip it to your belt loop or to your backpack or something like that using the attached carabiner, which can be extremely handy, especially when you're out and about. Now, these filters are not just for photography. They work well for video as well, especially the various uh, 
effect filters like the black mist and so on and so forth. So they work great for either stills or video, either one, so you're not limited. You're only limited, of course, by your imagination. Let me go ahead and get this carabiner, flip it back down because I couldn't get the box to close because it was standing up. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. And then we can pop this back in its box, fold it up, and tuck it away for the time being. All right, now I already took sample shots of our Christmas tree using the various effect filters so that you can see for yourself how they affect the lighting on the tree. And uh, because I didn't have anybody to shoot portraits with, it's the day before Christmas, so not really a good time to be pestering people. Hey, do you wanna come to my house to do a portrait shoot for my YouTube video? Um, so I used my Christmas tree, uh, but you get an idea. You don't trust me, when you see the stills, you'll get a really good idea of what the various filters can do um, in your portraiture because it's mostly how they affect the light in the bokeh or the background region of your image. So I'm gonna take this kit down to Mayo Lake here, which is off to my left, and we're gonna test out the different ND filters to see how well they work. So stand by. Okay, so we're now we're down here at Mayo Lake and I got my iPhone set up on my tripod, as you can see, and I'm using my square jellyfish mount that I got from Platypod. And we're gonna try out the pan snap filter that's a two-stop ND filter. And I'm using a new GoPro necklace mount I have so you can get a POV view as I'm testing out these filters. Now, one thing to keep in mind, the standard iPhone camera is not suitable for long exposure photography because you cannot control the shutter speed um, in the native iPhone camera app. So we have to get a little creative here. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around to this side and I'm gonna put this filter in. So as you can see, it slides into these little rails and then locks and that little clip locks it in place and you could probably hear the little snap. So for the two-stop shot, I can probably get away with using the iPhone's native camera app because a two-stop ND filter isn't going to do a whole lot for your shot anyways um, as far as smoothing out the water or anything like that. So let's just go ahead and get a shot with this one. All right, we got our shot. And I don't know how well you can see it on here, but I'll share it in the video anyway so that you'll be able to see it after the fact. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch the two stop out for the four stop. So we're gonna pull the box back out here and pop it back open. And we're gonna release the two stop ND filter by pushing the little clip here and then just slide it out. Put it back into its case and it has a notch in the foam inside the case the protective foam so you can whoops make sure you get it lined up the right way which i didn't just now there we go so we got that back in and then we're going to try the four stop six stop and the eight stop just so i can show you each one and what what kind of effect you get with each one so this is going to be the four stop and we're going to go ahead and this one I might be able to still use the iPhone camera for because again it's not a ton of light stopping power. It's only two stops. So it's not going to make a tremendous amount of difference. Um, a little bit more than the two stop but still not a ton of difference in uh, long exposure photography. So let's go ahead and slide that one in. Okay and it clicks. And let's see what the iPhone app looks like. Yeah see. And you can still see we can use the standard iPhone app yet for this one. Uh, not a whole lot of difference. A little bit. Uh, a little bit more than, like I said, the two-stop because this one is a four-stop. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop the four-stop back off. Now, when we get into the six and eight-stop ND filters, that's when you're going to want to be able to use a slower shutter speed and in order to do that you're going to have to use a third-party camera app that you can find in the app store now i did read an article the other day that says that you can do similar to long exposure photography with nd filters with the iphone camera app if you use the live photo mode because in the live photo mode it shoots basically like a three second clip and they were saying something in the article about you could um um, change it to 10 seconds or something like that which would probably work but again we're gonna 
get a little bit more creative here and we're going to use the non-native iphone app for the six and the eight stop nd filters so let me go ahead and get the six stop out and we'll get this one mounted in the phone there we go and let's go back here now this one it looks like you can still use the uh, native camera app and it's probably because we have the sun directly in our face but i'm going to go here and i'm going to switch to a third party app now this is a pro camera app it allows you to record in raw which i know now the newer iphones do allow you to record in raw as well but the difference with this one is if i hit this little arrow icon i have time lapse video photo burst mode and then slow shutter and in the slow shutter, I can choose 4 seconds, 8 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or full bulb mode, which means the shutter will stay open as long as you hold the button. Now, for this one, I'm going to probably go, let's try an 8 second with the, with the 6 stop and see how that works. So, we'll go ahead and get our shot. And it's going to do an eight second exposure you can see it counting down around the shutter button there the circle filling in and there we go and as you can see there the water is quite a bit smoother using this third party app so it did work quite well and let me close that back out and now i'm going to come back here and i'm going to switch out one more time and we're going to go to the eight stop nd filter so let me go ahead and pop the six back out. We got it released and we put it back in its little case. Nice and neat. Keep it from getting scratched or marred up or anything like that. We'll put it back in its original box and I'll switch it out to my other pocket here. And now I'll pull out the last ND filter, which is the eight stop. And we'll see what we can get with that one. I'll bet we can get the water pretty smooth with an eight stop ND filter in relationship to any of the others. Now a 10 stop would be nice uh, for my regular filter set that I have for my Fujifilm cameras. I can actually do 10 stops of, of light killing power with the, those ND filters, but uh, eight is still pretty good. So we're gonna go back into the camera app and I'll share the information on this camera app with you in the description down below. Let me see if I can get back to the actual, where the heck? Uh, let me kill the app maybe and go back in. Let's try that, see if that'll get us back where we wanna be. Yep, there we go. Okay, and we're still in the slow shutter mode. So let's go to a 30 second exposure with an eight stop ND filter and see what we get. And again, I'm gonna share the finished photographs uh, in the video so that you'll be able to see them for yourself. So we got the little ring counting down around the shutter button, doing the 30 second exposure. And it's nice to have that little animated circle filling in around the shutter button because it'll let you know exactly how long or how close you are to done with the exposure. Uh, on a regular camera, it would just count down on the screen on the rear LCD or in the viewfinder and you could see it that way. All right, so we got that one. And, oh yeah, that water is quite smooth in that shot. And we still have the sun there and all that good stuff. So, definitely pleased with how that one turned out. And let's go back. Uh, there we go, back to the camera app. And then if I want to, I can tap this again. And I can go back to standard photo mode with this app. So there you have it. I mean, it does a pretty good job, this little neutral density filter kit and, uh, and portrait filter kit for the iPhone. Now, this one is for my iPhone 14 Pro Max. They do have them available for the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I believe the 13 Pro Max. And they might have it from, for some other models as well. I'll put the links in the description down below.
All right, so wrapping up this review of the Pan Smart filter system for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. As you can see from the sample images, they do work extremely well. I'm really pleased with this set of filters. Uh, they're probably some of the best filters I've ever seen in photography, uh, aside from some of the high-end brands for regular cameras that can be quite expensive. Now, this kit is currently running $249 on Amazon. And of course, I'll have a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. But is a significant amount of money but you are getting an extremely quality set of filters and with the fact that they snap and it makes them quick and convenient to use whether it's for photography or videography and I know there's a lot of you out there that do your TikTok videos Instagram stories uh, Instagram reels YouTube shorts and all that stuff using nothing more than your smartphone and these would definitely be a huge thing to have in your creative kit for shooting your videos for those different social media platforms. You could really get some really cool videos, really cool effects, and again, you could also do daytime long exposure photography to get smooth water at a lake like I'm at today, or to get the waterfalls that look like cotton candy. They also work for that, just like any other set of ND filters, which is really incredible. I don't really have a whole lot of negatives uh, to say about this set, and I'm not saying that uh, for any particular reason. I'm not being paid by the company to do this review. It's a completely independent review. The one thing that I think would make it just a little bit better would be if they made the filter mount case for the iPhone go down the full length of the back of the iPhone. I just think that'd be a little bit better from a handling standpoint. But it's not an absolute necessity. With it having the magnetic ring, it does stick very well to the back of any of your MagSafe iPhone models, whether it's the 12, 13, or 14 Pro Max. It's going to stay attached very well. All right, that's going to wrap up this video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, watch the videos, comment on them, share them out on social media, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when new content drops, and I will see you all next time. Merry Christmas.